The timing of the release of these Antu models is really amazing. Alibaba has released these Antu models when no other company has released any model for some time. So the reception of this model is quite huge. To be fair, the model's quality is also quite good and almost every day we are getting to learn a new functionality and a new feature of this model. In this video, we will be installing Antu agents locally, which not only provides us the function calling ability, but also provides us RAG and various other stuff, which I will also be covering in future videos. But in this video, we will be installing this Antu or unagent locally, and then we will do the function calling with it with local Olama server because Olama's integration with Antu is also available and I just did a video around it. So if you don't know what Olama is, how to integrate Antu model with Olama, please check out that video. And the pronunciation of this model is Antu, UN in English or UN. Um, it is not Quen. So I have been pronouncing it all the way wrong and a lot of my Chinese viewers have reached out and have very graciously corrected me very politely. So much, much appreciated. Now, let's get started in installing this unagent and then we will see how to do the function calling it with it you can use uh, there is something called as a dash scope or something which is a hosted cloud service from alibaba but i'm just going to use olama with it if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the easiest and the most charming utility in order to run your llms locally and as i said earlier i already have done a video just half an hour ago on this one so please check it out also before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and the gpu which i'm going to use for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i would highly recommend them and i will also put the link to their website plus uh, a discount coupon which will give you 50 percent discount on an already discounted offering so please do check them out let me take you to my local vm where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i have this gpu card of 48 gpu vram and that is nvidia rtx a6000 let me clear the screen also i would highly suggest that you install anaconda or miniconda to keep everything separate and simple from your local system and if you don't know how to do it please search the channel you should be able to find something there let me create the virtual environment with conda i'm calling it an agent python 3.11 that should be done any minute now that is done let's step into that environment and you will see in parentheses let me clear the screen so we are in our environment now in order to install this unagent all you need to do is to do this pip install dash u unagent and it is going to install the unagent on your system and if it is already installed it is going to upgrade it so let's wait for it to finish and this is all there is to it in terms of installation now let it finish and then i will show you something else too and that is done let me clear the screen so the thing which i wanted to show you is this that olama is already running on my system and i already have downloaded this onto model if you haven't simply do olama run onto and then i'm just going to go with 7 billion one and it is going to download it so it's already there so i'm not going to download it again now um, let me show you the code through which you can create a whole agent and then the function calling with it i will show it to you in my vs code editor so that it will make easier so this is my vs code editor all we are doing it we are importing these two json and os and then this an agent llm and then this is just a dummy function which we have created that is just going to return the weather from these cities san francisco tokyo and paris with some of the temperature now if you're creating a production environment your own application then you can just replace it with a real world function which is going to call your database your file and get the real data out of it or you can even call some weather api if you like but we have just hard coded for the sake of this demo and then again we have just defined it um, defined this function where we are 
specifying our model now this is the key here the model this is a model which we are using but this is not correct we need to go back to our terminal and from here we need to pick up this name and then let me go back to my vs code and we need to replace that here so this is what we are running here and then model server is running on this url locally so this is a olamas um, serving api address or api base it is running on localhost on this port and v1 if for some reason you have installed olama on any other port or any other ip or if you are publicly exposing it you can simply do 000 there is also an option of running olama on a remote server and then accessing it from another server if you wanted to know how to do that i have a video on the channel so please search it out anyway so this is how we have specified our olama server and then here we are simply specifying the conversation we are defining our function here that uh, this is a prompt template this is a function this is a function name get current weather which we have defined here as you see you will replace it with your own function name and it's a very very typical open a compatible format where we are giving the description that these are the parameters and this is what is required here and then we are also creating an assistant agent or agent which is just going in the loop and printing the responses um, because the purpose of this is to build a chatbot so that is why you we are putting it in the loop if you just remove the loop it is just going to print one sentence and i will show you what i mean and then it is just extending the responses again getting the response call it's all very simple python where it is just massaging the data and then it is doing the function call from here and then getting the function this is available function you can put as many functions as you like because it's a list and then it is converting the json arguments the function ones getting the location unit then printing the function response and then for each function call it is just appending the messages and then here we are printing out the messages this is all it is doing so you see all we have done differently because if you have created the function with open is compatible thing it's the same exact same api uh, format you can it is just you, it's a drop in replacement for open a by the way all you need to do is to just specify your llm here and that's it okay so i already have moved this file to my system let me take you there and i have put it in um, in a file called as q agent let me see yep so this is a file the same file you see here and i have to find this coin2 model here and the exact same code which i have just showed you so let me clear the screen and let me run this agentic file and there you go there is our agent or assistant and there you go so this is what i was telling because i am running it in the loop that is why it has printed all of the thinking of the model but there you go so it has given us the function this is a function response this that it has written san francisco temperature and then it has given us a proper response in the natural language that the current weather in san francisco is this much now just think about it you can replace this function in any of your function and then either you could just build a chatbot on top of it if you don't want to do it you can just remove that for loop and you should be good to go this is how easy they have made this function calling in unto and i think that is why it is quite a big deal at the moment so this is how you install an agent uh, stay tuned subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel because i will be doing very soon some rag videos and there are other ideas i will i might be pursuing so hopefully you would like them too so i hope that this was useful i will put all the code which i have used in my blog and i will drop the link to it in videos description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching